Hello vinyl community, Thrash and Zombie, back with my entire vinyl collection. Today's video is... Uh, <laughs> metal. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Metal uh, E through uh, H. E through H. Uh, I did this video actually last weekend and I screwed it up and I just haven't had a chance to get back to it. Um, that's why there was only one video last weekend, non-metal. Um, today's metal, though, straight up all metal. And in honor of that, we're listening to Iron Maiden Killers. <coughs> Sound quality is eh, but it's good background. So let's get right into this. <coughs> First one is... Entombed Left Hand Path. This is the full dynamic range reissue from Earache Records. Um, um, let's see. They did a good job with the jacket. <coughs> Custom inner sleeve. <coughs> I really love Entomb's first two albums a lot. Um, uh, yeah, what can I say about Entomb? But they, their first few albums were just amazing, and then they went a different route with their third album, which you know. I'll get to that in a second. Let's close that back up. Put that over there. I got their second album, Clandestine, Clan Clandestine, however you want to say that. I'm not going to take that out. It's got uh, colored vinyl, custom center labels. Um, I don't think this is the full dynamic range, but this is my favorite Entombed album right here. This is what got me in, in into Entombed. Um, this is another one of those when I was a stupid kid. I kind of saw the album and didn't have any money. And it somehow fell in my pocket when I walked out of the store. Before they got all these uh, metal or uh, detectors by the door. This is back in the late 80s, early 90s probably. I saw this. Um, just this, this artwork, this cover is just amazing. So much better than Left Hand Path, I think. That's good artwork too, but this. I just saw this and I stared at this, the cassette. It's a little tiny thing. But looking at this on this, I'm just like, wow, this is just amazing artwork. This Swedish death metal with buzzsaw guitars and absolute awesome songs like Sinners Bleed, Evil Lynn. Yeah. Listen to this. <clears throat> and this one, where they went to a little different direction, this is, uh, all three of these are reissued, by the way. There's Wolverine Blues. First song I heard by, from this was not actually from this, it was an EP, it was a song Wolverine Blues but it wasn't singing, it was just an instrumental. And it had a guy in the background talking about wolverines, how much they eat, and how uh, ferocious they are. Some EP, <coughs> Hollow Man EP maybe. I believe this is just on black vinyl, yeah. It's custom center labels though. I picked this up at Pure Pop Records in Burlington. The other two I got straight from Earache, I believe. And then we're gonna go with a little lighter stuff here. Europe, final countdown. <coughs> this is my second copy, the first one I had skipped. Um, I like pretty much every song on here. I have to skip the song Carrie though. The reason? Because my ex's name is Carrie, who I had a child with, who royally, royally screwed me over in my life, totally mind F me. I was a complete wreck after this woman. And she's still 
that same way. She's almost 40 years old. Completely messed with my head. Anyway, um, another Europe out of this world. It's another uh, not bad album. <coughs> I didn't even know they had any albums before the final countdown, but I guess they had one or two. They had a two or three after this. Only two I got, though. Here's a band that I like a lot, too. This album, anyway. Stream. First album. This is a... Uh, I think it's a UK version. Yeah. I believe it is. But this is from a guy in the UK from off of Facebook. Yeah. The only song that really bugs me on here is the first song, Little Girls. It's just kind of creepy. It's like all these other bands that sing songs like Seventeen. Uh, I don't, you know, 17 and you're 25? They're 20? I mean, 20? I think it's not terrible, but I don't know, it's just weird. And then uh, Fastway's first album. I showed this on a Vinyl Finds, I think, but I just listened to it the other day, so it went into the collection. And their second... Second? I don't know. It's not their first, so all fired up. Some good, heavier, hard rock kind of stuff. It's not bad. I showed this too already. I bought it because it was still sitting there. Nobody bought it. Flotsam and Jetsam. Doomsday for the Deceiver. Earlier press, maybe even the first press. Who knows? The jacket's kind of beat up, but it sat there in Newberry Comics. Sat there and sat there and nobody was buying it. Nobody was buying it. I finally said, screw it. I'll buy it. <laughs> and then we got Flotsam and Jetsam, No Place for Disgrace, Direct Metal Mastering, it's also a promotional copy, right there, if you can see that, promotional copy, it's even got the gold stamp in the back, I'm not going to take it out because it's the only thing I don't like, I like these sleeves, they're nice and clear, unlike uh, These ones are kind of filmy, but the noisy keeps them safe too. But it does look good, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Okay. I digress. And then this Ace Freely. I showed this already once too. I bought this for six bucks, and this is like VG plus plus plus. Guy obviously did not know what he had here because it's not a reissue or anything either. People, one guy on Facebook was selling this. He does uh, videos selling records. At this price at 50 bucks, it wasn't signed or anything like that. But 50 bucks. I said, well, I bought mine for six, so I'm not gonna buy yours for 50. And here we go. A split record between with Iron Reagan and Gate Creeper. I don't mind Iron Reagan. I like Municipal Waste better than Iron Reagan. Kind of the same band almost. Um, Municipal Waste is more about fun songs, partying and stuff, and Iron Reagan is more political. Obviously, Iron Reagan. I bought it for the Gate Creeper, um, which is great, by the way. Only problem with this album. I never jumped on and tried to get it fixed. It's got a bolt warp. Everyone knows what a bolt warp is. It's kind of, but just on the Iron Reagan side, which is fine. The Gate Creeper side I can put on and put the record weight on it and it finds it right out. It's okay. Yeah. Pretty good size. I think it's only three songs from Gate Creeper. I still need to buy the great Gate Creeper uh, full length. Uh, Sonats, something deprivations, I don't know what it's called, but that's full length. 
great white. <coughs> Once bitten. Um, this sat Newberries for a while too. It was priced at like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Regular section. Then I got moved over to 9.99 and under section. It was like 7.99. Then I got moved to the wicked cheap section for like five bucks, four bucks, and that's when I bought it. <laughs> um, not not the greatest album they put out, but I have fond memories of this album when I was a teenager. So. That's why I bought it. And then we got some uh, Gojira, or uh, in English, Godzilla. This is Magma. <coughs> I think this is their latest album. I don't know if they put anything else since this. I bought this at a uh, BAM bookstore. Um, Custom Center labels. Not a terrible album. It was cheap, fairly cheap. I did like it, um, so I bought it. Yeah, I buy stuff I like. I try not to buy stuff I don't like. <coughs> like this, I shouldn't have bought this, but I did. Green Jelly, Serial Killer soundtrack. I only bought it for. Um, Three Little Pigs. Let's see, fold. This is a Record Store Day reissue. Um, I may have told the story about this. I don't know. I didn't see it anywhere in my area. And then I went to uh, Keene. Actually, yeah, I think I did because I showed this in a um, vinyl finds pickups. Now, I found it in Keene at a little tiny record store that I really didn't think that I would see. I found this along with the 7 Mary 3, which is one I was looking for. I decided just to pick this up too, so. Oh, here's, a, here's an awesome band. Um, hold on. This band. <coughs> um, I only have one of their albums. But if you like the band Death, Chuck Schuldinger, or Schunger, whatever his last name is, you should check this band out. This is Gruesome, Twisted Prayers. And it says right up here anyway. Um, Gruesome returned with their second full length album, or sermon, Ultimate Homage. Homage to Death's legendary out spiritual healing. So yeah, this is sounds like death in their spiritual healing era. Leprosy, spiritual healing into human, maybe. It sounds more like spiritual healing though than um, any of the other ones. This is just black vinyl with the uh, Camouflage center labels, but I actually <coughs> was listening to music on my phone through an earpiece at work the other day, and one of these songs came on. I think it was um, maybe the song "Twisted Prayers" or "A Waste of Life," possibly. <coughs> I thought it was Van Death. I really did. And I looked it up and I, I, I turned the phone on and I saw it and it was this. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. I mean, they, they are, I, I can't say enough about these guys. I don't know. Did I show you that? I don't know. But anyway, if you like the band Death, check this album out. A lot of people say that they're ripping them off because there's a lot of riffs that are just like Death. But I read in an article, I think, that they got permission from, um, ooh, that sounded kind of weird, uh, from um, Chuck's wife, parents, family members, somebody anyway, to, to do this, to pay homage to him. And they aren't technically ripping them off because they got permission to use some of the 
riffs to sound like spiritual healing. Yeah, that tape's messed up. Listen to this. I had a feeling some of these tapes were going to sound like crap. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, next up is Sammy Hagar's VOA. This has got Can't Drive 55 on it. <clears throat> and some other songs. And a lot of these albums, you know, like the Sammy Hagar, you know, the, let's see, most of these, the Europe, <clears throat> are, uh, found in, like, the Listen Center, which is our local thrift store in the past 15 years or so, along with most of my albums. You can't find stuff like that anymore. It's very hard. It's just crazy. Um, next up is it's a Hailstorm picture disc. Um, Reanimate 3.0, the covers EP. <coughs> they cover uh, Still the Night by White Snake. Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover. I don't know who sings that. I Hate Myself for Loving You by Joan Jett. Heathens. Um, which I'm kind of surprised they covered that because it's not a very old song by, uh, I don't care. <laughs> Fell on Black Days and Ride the Lightning Limit, Metallica. Not a huge fan of the Ride the Lightning cover, but whatever. I actually picked this up. I got tickets for my wife uh, to see Hailstorm last year for our anniversary. <clears throat> and I picked this up at the concert. It's the only one they had for sale. Uh, and it's a picture disc. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. So. And I put it in the hard rock metal section because they're pretty heavy. Um, not everybody knows that, but they're not light. Um, along with this one, this is the latest album, Vicious. They sound pretty, pretty heavy uh, songs on here. Um, double LP. Another band that did the 45 RPM speed for full length. I don't know why. I mean, it does sound really good. Custom inner sleeves. Or actually, that's just a card. Yeah, because they have cheap inner sleeves in here, actually. 2 LP, 180 gram, 45 RPM. Um, good, good songs on here, let's see. Buzz, which they released as a single for Record Store Day, this past Record Store Day. Do Not Disturb. Pretty good song. Uh, what else? I don't really know many of the other songs, but... <clears throat> it's pretty heavy. They did really good live. Drummer, it's her brother, lead singer, Lucy Hale, her brother is somebody Hale. He's an amazing drummer. And I got uh, Noi Rocks, which is a blind buy. Never heard this band before. Ever. This is a compilation, Self Destruction Blues. And then this one I just showed a couple, a few, a few videos ago, Hurricane. With the, uh, See that the signature by the drummer. And three more, the same band. The band I found out about um, from YouTube. And singer and one of the guitarists, these two guitarists, was in White Wizard, their first EP. Um, high-speed GTO, and 
they split with him, the bassist, created a band, and they created this band. Holy Grail. Crisis in Utopia. Now, standard black. This band is kind of hard to place in the metal genre. Um, speed metal, thrash metal, a touch of death metal. A certain singing that the guitarist does. He does like the growls in some of the songs. But then they have little lighter songs. I, I'd probably lean more toward its speed metal in the vein of um, Judas Priest, kind of, but then it's a mix of Judas Priest and Iron Maiden. This seems a little loud. I mean, it's faster than Iron Maiden in some songs, but it's slower than Judas Priest. It, you'd have to listen to them. I can't really explain it. And then there, that was their first album. Their second album, Ride the Void. This is on blue vinyl. Um, this is a gateful, so I'm gonna open this up. Show you the gatefold. It's got a poster. Band members. Tracing them the poster. They got the, uh, you know, the denim and spikes and stuff look going on. <clears throat> I mean, this is a really thick, um, thick jacket. I mean, this is heavy duty right here. It's, it feels really solid. <clears throat> Holy Grail, I saw them. Um, shit. A couple years ago, they were playing at a little bar called Nectars. I can't get this back in. Um, in uh, Burlington, Vermont when this album came out. Uh, Times of Pride and Peril. I believe this is a gatefold. Oh, and it's also a color. Like the blue one. Um, what's that? So... poster as well. Oh, there's lyrics on this. I mean, they do pretty well with their packaging and stuff. Three albums in, and they're still not really well well known. This is this uh, pinkish lilac something. I think they might have called it like sand. <clears throat> I don't know. But there. That is the um, E through H section of my metal. Um, maybe I'll do another one later for the, the uh, I through L maybe. We'll see. Rock on. It's a long video.